Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the Outre Quick Weave Parisian. And for those of you who haven't subscribed yet, I'd kindly thank you to subscribe now. Okay, so this is the Parisian and it is a quick weave or a half wig from Outre. And this is a stock card. I have this in the color DR2730. And on the back of the stock card is the care guide. It tells you how to wash and care for your wig. This is a very beautiful silky wig. It has a long comb in the front. And it has a long comb in the back. And that helps keep it on your head extra secure. The wig feels really soft. It is a bit shiny, but it doesn't look bad for this texture of hair. The cap is big head friendly, but I would say it's good for medium sized heads too. I'm just going to part it to see what kind of style I could get it in without taking out some of my own hair. The wig does seem a bit thin. But for those of you who do want thin hair, this is the perfect hair for you. I guess I'm just really used to having big, fluffy, curly hair recently. As you can see, it actually looks really pretty. I think I just have to comb through it pretty good. As you can see, it's, it's ombre. It has a dark root. And the bottom of it is the color, it's a blondish, brownish color, and it's called DR37. Well, 2730, I'm sorry. I'm just going to use some of this got to be glued spray to see if I could get some volume in it. It is giving it slight volume, making it a bit more full. I think I'm going to try it with some leave out. What I would normally do is take the front of my hair for this uh, textured wig and I would flat iron it to make it blend in. But I didn't take the time to plug in the flat iron and make it hot enough for this video. But if you'd like, you could just flat iron it to blend the texture in with that wig. To blend your own hair texture in with the wig. And here's how it looks. Yes, as I said, I do. I would need to flat iron my own hair. So I'm just going to pin it back to see how it looks. You know, just giving you an idea of how it would look with the leave out. As I said, I have been used to getting the curly big wigs. So with the curly big wigs, you could use the flip over method and you don't even have to use any leave out of your own hair. But this is a little different for me. Even if I flat ironed it and I pinned it back, it would look really pretty. I think I'm going to try that.
my daughter had a wig like this and she actually was able to put it into a ponytail and another thing that you could do in the front is you could use a headband around the very front or tie a scarf around the very front see this is the length that it is it comes down about halfway down my breast so I would say this is 22 to 24 inches the side view I know some people think that this wig is too thinly textured, but I kind of like it. It's a real change of pace for me. I would just use a little more got to be glue spray to try to get it to thicken up just a slight bit. But if I flat iron my own hair, I might not even need to do that. I think next time I put this wig on, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Flat iron it. See, here's another look at the length. Okay, so I got this from a place called shophairwigs.com. And I'll leave all the information and all the links down at the bottom in the description box. And once again, I thank you for watching my video. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.